Hello guys, in this video, let's find exception details of our client side or UI side of our ASP.NET Core web app in Azure Application Insights. So, we have this ASP.NET Core web app which is deployed in Azure App Service and for that App Insights is enabled. And guys, how to enable App Insights for ASP.NET Core web app we have already seen in our earlier video. And now, we will throw an exception in our index.cs html page and then we will find the complete trace of that exception in app insights but in addition we will also find the exact file name and line number where that error occurred now guys we are in azure portal and we have opened this azure app service that is my test app service 22 and our asp.net core web app it is deployed in this app service and here you can see this app service is already connected with application insights resource my test app insights 22 now guys we are in visual studio and this is our asp.net core web app and now let's open this index.cs html page and here let's add a code so that it will throw an exception so here i will say int number is equal to convert dot to int 32 and here let's provide invalid string so we'll say a b c d 1 2 3 4 and now let's deploy our app in app service so right click publish and let's say publish and you can see our app is successfully published to azure app service now let's go to the app service and let's run our application from there let's open our app service and now to run our app let's click on this browse and guys we expect our app should throw an exception okay so let's click on browse and yes we got an error and now let's trace all the details of this error in azure app insights so again we are in azure portal and let's click on this app insights and again we can find this error details under failures as well plus they are shown under this overview section as well but we'll click on transaction search so let's click on transaction search so here i will say last 30 minutes apply and we have the complete trace available and now let's open the second row that is exception and again on the left left hand side we have this complete trace available now let's go to the right hand side and let's scroll down and here we can see the checkbox that is just my code let's tick that and we can see the details of exception so it is a number format exception and it has occurred in index.cs html file and on line number 6 and let's cross check in visual studio and yes you can see it's in index.cs html and line number 6 